Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Dr. Teeth. Today we are going to see how do we make a hollow denture. And the entire process we will be seeing with the help of a case presentation. And as you might have guessed that I am not well, I am having a sore throat, cold since 2-3 days. So I need your prayers to get well soon. But usually it's the Sundays when I get time to make videos. So I did not want to miss this opportunity. So let's begin with today's topic. Okay, so what happens is whenever we have a resorbed maxillary ridge and or mandibular ridge, what happens is there is increased inter ridge distance, right? Sometimes, you know, maxilla is too resorbed. Sometimes the mandible is too resorbed. So in that case, like when you have a bigger space here to fill, we need more acrylic, right? So the more material we're using, the heavier the denture will get. So in maxillary denture especially, the retention stability will be compromised, right? So in those cases, we can make the denture hollow, okay? So, increased inter-ridge distance often results in heavy maxillary complete denture that reduces the retention of the prosthesis. So, in those cases, like when we have a resorbed residual ridge, when we have increased inter-ridge distance, in those cases, a hollow denture is indicated. Okay, so a 69-year-old male patient, Mr. Rajaram, reported to the department with the chief complaint of difficulty in chewing food due to worn out old denture. He is a farmer by occupation and he lives in Sitapur. His dental history revealed that he has lost teeth in a span of past 8 to 10 years due to caries and he has been a denture wearer since 6 years. Medical history, no relevant history of any systemic or communicable illness. Now, on extra oral examination, the facial form was oval, right? And the facial profile was straight, okay? And there was no abnormality detected in the temporomandibular joint. I have kept it short and simple, no extra details because our focus is something else. We want to focus on the hollow denture, right? Not on the case presentation as such. Now, on intraoral examination, the maxillary ridge was low, well-rounded and was classified as Atwood class 5th and the mandibular ridge was knife edge. It was classified as Atwood class 4. Now tentative jaw record and space analysis was done and this case was found suitable for a hollow denture. Now primary impression was taken using alginate and we used the old denture of the patient to take the impression. Now, the drawback of alginate impression material for edentulous ridges especially is that the flanges are not properly recorded because this is not a mucocompressive material. But in this case, since we had the old denture of the patient, so it acted as a custom tray for the patient, right? And we were able to get a proper sulcus. Then primary cast was made with special tray. Then we did a border molding using green stick and we took a wash impression using light body elastomeric material. For the mandible, we used the all green technique and a ZOE impression. As you can see, this is not really a wash impression. This is a little thick and, you know, should have been better. But, but since it is my post-graduation work, I'm still learning. So, you know. So, few things might be good in this presentation, but few things might not be that good. Then, plaster boxing of the final impression was done. Now, if you want to learn this method of boxing your impression and get a good, you know, master cast, let me know in the comment section below. I can cover a tutorial on this. I really like this technique and I've been using it, you know, since, I don't know, when. <laughs> so, this is the maxillary master cast. And this is our mandibular master cast. Now record base with occlusal rims were made. And orientation in vertical jaw record was taken. Face bow record was done. Then it was transferred to the articulator. Then we took the centric records and we mounted 
it on our Hanau semi adjustable articulator. Now, teeth arrangement was done in balanced occlusion. This is the trine of the patient. Now, from here comes the procedure of making a hollow denture. Now, as you can see here, this extra amount of wax is seen here, right? This is not usually seen, but what happened is like if I like if I go back to our previous slide while trying the denture on the patient, I felt that the denture were not able to give proper support to the cheeks of the patient on the buccal side. So a little cheek plumper was needed. So that is why I decided to give a little thickness of acrylic here. And obviously we are going to make a hollow denture so the weight is obviously reduced, right? So we can add that. Now what we are going to do, we make notches, three notches, one posteriorly and let's say two anteriorly, right? And we seal our trial denture base, okay? Now these notches, what they will do, they will help us align the template we are going to make. We are going to make a template, we'll see this in a while. Okay, so after sealing it, we are going to mix alternate in a bowl, rubber bowl, and we are going to duplicate it. We are going to duplicate our trial denture base, maxillary trial denture base. So this is our duplicated trial denture. You can see the notch here, right? Now on this, a template was made by adapting 0.5 mm thermoplastic sheet using vacuum heat pressed machine. So you can see we have adapted a thermoplastic sheet on top of it, right? Now these notches which were made in our original mastercast will help align this template on the original mastercast. Now we processed the trial denture up to the wax elimination stage. Now here we have used a two pore technique using dental plaster but ideally dental stone should have been used here because when we use dental plaster a lot of this material gets stuck in between the teeth in the acrylic which is really difficult to remove during the finishing of the denture. We'll see. We will see this in the final denture. Now for a while just forget about this. Keep it aside. Keep this aside. Just take this one and we adapt a base plate wax on it and we will take another flask. We will take a new counter flask new counter flask means the other half of the flask that is placed on top of this we will take a new one and we will process this you know base plate wax in heat cure so you can see we have a record base that is made up of heat cure right now once we have a record base we will keep our template and as i said the notches will help us align it and we will use a file, endodontic file, to measure the space, right? See, we know the height of our teeth, right? And we need 2-3 mm extra space here for the acrylic, right? And here also we have acrylic in the base. So the entire center, it can be made hollow. So we got the space that can be utilized for hollowing the denture keeping acrylic on top and bottom so that there is no leakage okay so once we know the amount of space we have we will take a putty elastomeric material we will adapt it in a u shape on the record base and we will fix it using feviquick or cyanoacrylate and then we'll again place the template on top and check like if we have enough space for the acrylic material this will again come into picture. We had kept it aside, right? We will again use it. We will mix heat cure acrylic. We will process the denture as we normally would. But now since we have putty here in between, this will make the denture hollow because after processing, we will remove this putty by creating a hole in the denture on the posterior side. Let's see. See here. On the posterior side, we have made a hole. We take orthodontic wire, we remove it. This is a very difficult procedure. So, 
Two openings were made with a burr into the denture base, distal to the most posterior tooth. I also made one opening here in the rugae area because removing the silicone from the anterior region was very difficult. And sharp instrument and thick orthodontic wire was used. Now after we have removed it, we will plug the openings with cold cure. Always use the cold cure in the dose stage so that it does not flow inside, right? We have to just make a plug here. Pour it in water and then we will put our dent in water and it should float as you can see here. This is the denture insertion. Now here I was talking about the dental plaster we had used during the processing. If it was processed using a three pour technique using dental stone, these white spots which are very difficult to remove were not, wouldn't have been here. Okay, so finishing polishing is not really good. So this is the before and after picture. The patient was satisfied with his denture and our hollow denture was delivered. Now advantage of using this technique. The problem with leakage is solved. Now in this technique only two holes were made in the posterior region so the leakage problem was not there. There are a few techniques where you know the record base is acrylized and the teeth portion is acrylized separately and around the periphery like this is the record base right. This is the tooth portion so we have tooth on top of it. And around the periphery, like all around the periphery, cold cure was used to acrylize it. So this method had a very big disadvantage because usually at denture delivery, we tend to trim the peripheral borders, right? When it is overextended or when it impinges into the tissues of the patient, we trim it so the problem of leakage was there. But here, problem with leakage is solved. There is no difficulty in gauging the resin thickness because we used a clear template. Similarly, the thickness of resin can be controlled and also we have used a silicone putty which is stable. It can be carved easily. You can use a knife to cut it off if it is extra and it does not adhere to the acrylic resin. Now, let's see the different techniques of making a hollow denture. Dental stone has been used, cellophane wrapped asbestos, silicone putty, modeling clay and here it was by Holt who processed the denture in two halves. I have explained this earlier that the dentures were processed in two halves and they were luted with cold cure acrylic that is the auto polymerized acrylic resin and clear matrix by O Sullivan et al which is the technique we have used here also dough of dental plaster pumice and sugar syrup have been used thermocol has been used and lost salt technique which is very popular for making a hollow obturator that has also been used now disadvantages of hollow denture, it is a time consuming procedure as you saw we had a lot of time wasted in the lab procedures and it is also prone to fracture because the acrylic, because we have a thin layer of acrylic and also removal of putty from the cavity is difficult. So I hope that you understood how we made a hollow denture. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comment section below and if you want to see any other case presentation on any other topic, let me know by commenting below. Do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Alhafiz.